हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शेक हेड विथ लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा फॉर टेस्टिंग ए हाइपोथेसिस देर आर थ्री कॉमन टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस टेस्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज टेस्ट ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन मीन्स द सेकेंड वन इज टेस्ट ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन प्रपोर्शन एंड द थर्ड वन इज टेस्ट ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन वेरियंसेस नाउ फर्स्ट वी टॉक अबाउट द टेस्ट ऑफ हाइपोथेसिस अबाउट पॉपुलेशन मीन्स मीन ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन कैन बी टेस्टेड अंडर डिफरेंट कंडीशन सच एज पॉपुलेशन मे बी नॉर्मल एंड अदर देन नॉर्मल इट मे बी फाइनाइट और इनफाइनाइट sample size may be large or small variance of the population may be known or unknown and the last one the alternative hypothesis ha may be two sided or one sided and to test a hypothesis about population means we can use either z test or t test but in this video we will study only the z test with an example problem now there are two cases in which the z test can be used number 1 when the population standard deviation sigma p is known and the population is normal the second case is when the population standard deviation sigma p is known the population is not normal and the sample size is at least 30 and the test statistic for z test is worked out as shown in the equation z equal to x bar minus mu not in the numerator and sigma p divided by square root of n in the denominator here x bar is the sample mean and mu not is the claimed value of the population mean that gives maximum benefit of doubt to the null hypothesis it means if h not stated as mu greater than or equal to 1000 then we use value of 1000 in the equation in place of mu not and if we talk about the denominator here sigma p is the population standard deviation and n is the sample size now let's take a problem of an automatic cola filling plant and understand how z test can be used to test a hypothesis about the population mean and helps in decision making so in an automatic cola filling plant an automatic bottling machine fills cola into 2 liter bottles and it is believed that every bottle has average amount of cola filled by machine in two bottle is at least 2000 cc but a consumer advocate says no no i can't believe that and i want to test that the average amount of cola filled by the machine into the bottle is at least 2000 cc so a random sample of 40 bottles coming out of the machine was selected and the exact contents of the selected bottles are recorded the sample mean of the 40 bottles sample was 1999.6 cc and the population standard deviation is known from past experience to be 1.30 cc Now for the given problem you have to test the null hypothesis at an alpha of 5% assume the population is normally distributed with the population standard deviation of 1.30 cc second test the null hypothesis again at an alpha of 5% assume that the sample size is only 20 but the sample mean is same which is 1999.6 cc 
and third find if there is a difference in the two test results and explain the reason for the difference okay let's solve this problem first we have to state the null and alternative hypothesis here so here the null hypothesis can be stated as h not such that mu greater than or equal to 2000 it implies the average amount of cola filled in every bottle is greater than or equal to 2000 cc and the alternative hypothesis can be stated as h a such that mu less than 2000 it implies the average amount of cola filled in every bottle is less than 2000 cc here h a is one sided and less than type hence we will use the left tail test in this problem you may watch the videos of left tail test right tail test and two tail test on shake hand with life youtube channel for hypothesis testing in detail the links are given in the i mark above and also in the description below now take the first case here we use the z test because the population standard deviation is known and the z statistic is given as z equal to x bar minus mu naught in numerator and sigma p divided by square root of n in denominator here in this equation the population standard deviation sigma p is given as 1.30 cc the sample size n is 40 sample mean x bar is 1999.6 cc and the claimed population mean mu naught that is the average amount of cola in every bottle is 2000 cc now put all the given values in the formula and process the result such as z equal to 1999.6 minus 2000 in numerator and 1.30 divided by square root of 40 in denominator and after processing the z statistic we get z equal to minus 1.95 now calculate the p value for the calculated value of z statistic and compare it with the given value of alpha of 5 percent using the table for areas of z distribution the area corresponding to 1.95 is 0 0.4744 and hence the p value can be calculated as 0 0.50 minus 0 0.4744 and that will be equal to 0 0.0256 and this will be 2.56 percent now the p value is less than 5% the given value of alpha under left tail test hence the null hypothesis will be rejected and it implies that the average amount of cola in every bottle is not equal to or greater than 2000 cc you may watch the video of p value calculation on shake hand with life youtube channel to understand how to calculate the p-value for left tail test, right tail test and two tail test for hypothesis testing in detail. The links are given in the i mark above and in the description below. You may use the critical value method to test the null hypothesis. The critical value in case of left tail test at an alpha of 5% is minus 1.645 and if you compare the calculated value of z statistic which is minus 1.95 which is less than minus 1.645 and falls in the rejection region hence the null hypothesis will be rejected you may watch the videos of two tail test and the left tail test and right tail test to understand the concept of critical values 
for hypothesis testing on Shake Hands with Life YouTube channel. The links are given in the I mark above and in the description below. Now, take the second case when the sample size is 20. Here in this case, to calculate the Z statistic, just put the value of N as 20 in place of 40 as in previous case and process the Z test. So here in the equation of Z statistic, put the values Z equal to 1999.6 minus 2000 in numerator divided by 1.30 and divided by a square root of 20 in denominator. Here after processing the Z statistic, the value of Z will be minus 1.38. Now calculate the P value for the calculated value of Z statistic and compare it with the given value of alpha of 5%. Like in the first case. Here the value of Z is minus 1.38 and using the table for areas of Z distribution, the area corresponding to 1.38 is 0.4162 and hence the P value can be calculated as 0.50 minus 0.4162 and this will equal to 0.0838 and in terms of percentage it will be 8.38 percent now in this case the p value is greater than the value of alpha of 5 percent hence the null hypothesis will be accepted and it implies that the average amount of cola in every bottle equal to or greater than 2000 cc now using critical value method the calculated value of Z statistic is minus 1.38 is greater than minus 1.648 and falls in the acceptance reason. Hence the null hypothesis will be accepted. Now in the first case we could reject the null hypothesis but in the second case we couldn't. Although in both cases the sample mean was the same. The reason is that in the first case the sample size n equal to 40 was larger than the sample size n equal to 20 in the second case and therefore the evidence against the null hypothesis was more reliable and this produced the smaller p-value in the first case. Hence on the basis of z test with sample size 40, the consumer advocate will reject the claim made by the cola filling company that the average amount of cola filled by machine into bottles is at least 2000 cc. That's all in this video. We'll solve a new problem on the basis of Z test in next video. If you have any question or suggestions, then please do write your feedback in the comment box below. Hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. And subscribe Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel and press the bell to receive notifications of my latest videos. Visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.